morning happy monday uh it is disgusting outside absolutely disgusting it's so windy and rainy my son had a meltdown on the way to school because he couldn't cope with it which to be fair i had a bit of an internal meltdown myself so i don't blame him um what are my plans for today work 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 i took the weekend not off but well yeah i took the weekend off um i kind of did a little bit on my phone but i didn't actually sit down and do proper work um so i need to get quite a decent chunk done today because i feel like i've fallen behind i've been really really trying to put the effort in and like actually i want to grow my ebay again it has been it is hit rock bottom um before i was unwell like maybe two to three years ago now my ebay was at its peak and it was doing really really well my 90 day total was around 10k and i had close to a thousand items listed and i was doing really really well like i was where i wanted to be um at the minute it is right down at my 90 day total is only at like 3k and i'm only clinging just clinging on to that um, and my active listings are just shy of 600 which to be fair they were at like 400 and something so last week and the week before i've really put the effort in to like grow my store um so yeah i really want to try and put the effort in and get back up there i don't expect to be at 10k again because realistically i can't work at the speed that i used to anymore um unfortunately um but that's okay i never accepted that it, it is what it is and also my husband is now working full time out of the house so he won't be putting in really any time into ebay anymore um he may be doing some at the weekend if i need help um and i'm sure he'll still help to take parcels when he gets back from work if i haven't done them myself um but yeah, he's like, he's got a new job, which is great. But it just means that eBay is just mine now. I say eBay, it's not just eBay. It is just online in general now. Um, I did used to just focus on just eBay. But I have broadened and I am selling on multiple platforms now. eBay is still definitely my main earner. But unfortunately at the minute, eBay is just so i really had to open up to different marketplaces which it does take a lot more obviously it takes a lot more effort because you have to put in the effort to get the rewards that goes without saying um but it's more the m m remembering when something sells on one platform to take it off the next which my memory is absolutely awful um and that's not just someone saying their memory is awful i have a condition which makes my memory awful um but i've just got to make sure i give myself a dedicated time every day to check it all and just to make sure that i get it done i'm trialing it anyway so i am on depop which i had a sale yesterday um I started listening on Depop again about six to eight weeks ago, but then stopped again. Um, I used to sell on Depop a couple of years ago, but I just, I just can't, I just don't like it. I'll be honest, I'm not a fan of Depop. I don't like the, I don't like the listing format. I don't like all the, I don't know. I don't like that you only get four photos. I don't think that's enough. Like, I always feel pressure. Like, what four photos am I going to use? Like, I know that there is the video format as well, like the video feature, sorry, but I just, that's just an extra thing to add in, isn't it? Like, anyway, I'm, I'm trying on Depop and I had a sale yesterday, which I'm really, really pleased about. Um, but that is, you have to share, like edit and like edit your listings every single day. Um, I've been doing it twice a day to try and boost my Depop shop a little bit. So I'm doing it morning and evening. Um, and making sure that I'm following loads of other people as well. And then Vinted. Mm, 
I'm still using it and I'm still cross-listing because I subscribe subscribed. I've started using Zip Sale. Um and as a reseller, I don't know why I wasn't using Zip Sale. But I started using it and it has its issues, I won't lie, it's not perfect. But then you know, it's not been around for that long, so it's not gonna be. But yeah, I'm happy with it so far and it saves me so much time because I was always manually cross-listing and it takes so much time. Like when I'm trying to run a business on each platform, I ain't got time for that. I'm a one-man band now, so yeah. But anyway, that's not really the issue is not the listing on things. Um, so yeah, I've got Vinted, Depop, eBay and now Poshmark. Um, Poshmark has come to the UK. It is still in beta testing at the minute. Um, it is, so it's not open to, I think it's 500 people at the minute. I might be wrong, so don't quote me on that. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, I'm really enjoying getting to grips with it and listing on it. It's, I'm hope, I think they're hoping to open it up to everybody in a few weeks time, but they haven't given a date yet. I'm hoping that it will be soon. I mean, it might not be a few weeks time because obviously they've, they've got to get rid of all the kinks. That's why people are testing it. Um, but the format, the listing format, great. Like it's so easy to list on, so quick to list on. Um, the shopping format, I think it's gonna be so much easier to shop on. Like with eBay, you don't really go on, you go on eBay and you buy something because you wanna buy something. Whereas, like, you know what you want to buy. I don't find myself going on eBay for a browse. I do on Vinted. I browse on Vinted a lot more. Don't browse on Depop. I don't really know why. I don't really like the Depop app that much. I, I don't find... I don't know. I just don't really enjoy using it. Um, I know a lot of people do. I just don't really enjoy using it. Um, but I do browse on Vinted. And... I just don't find eBay really very browsy. You go on there when you know what you're looking for. Um, but yeah, I think that's that might be hindering it a little bit lately. But yeah, Poshmark is very much a browsy kind of app, which I think is great. It's also a very like community kind of app. Um, there's a you have to put a lot of time into it. I will say that straight from the beginning. You have to put a lot of time into it. You can't just list things and ignore them um, because they're just going to get lost and no one's going to see them. You need to be sharing your wardrobe like several times a day. Um, at the minute, I try and share mine two to three times a day, but I know some people are up there sharing it like five, six times a day, which, you know, putting the effort in, fair play. Um, you have to share other people's stuff. Um share other people's things like i'm trying my hardest to but man is it time consuming oh that wind out there is crazy um but it's not hard like don't get me wrong it's not hard work but you have it's, it's like a full-time job i can see why people in america only sell on one platform because it is like a full-time job but there is a more community aspect to it there is definitely more i don't know maybe that's just because it's a small people small group of people at the minute in beach testing that it feels like it's more of a community aspect maybe that will change when it goes like live to everybody I, I don't know but i've got high hopes for it and i think it's going to be a real big contender in like the selling community i think i think it's going to be really good i'm excited for it to go live in the uk and um, i think there's a few things that it needs that need work um but you know that's why it's in beta but i get the feeling it's going to be good um anyway enough waffling enough waffling hey bear the dog's right here you can't see her but she's right here um oh do you want to be seen now do you come on then do you want to be seen yeah oh, he oh, he oh hello oh hello oh hello um but yeah today i'm cracking on with work um, I'm going to put a sale on my shop to try and kickstart. Oh, you're so beautiful. Look how beautiful she is. Oh, so beautiful. Um, I'm going to put a, a, a sale on my eBay shop. 
Um, I'm also going to put a sale on my Etsy because I have been ignoring Etsy a little bit. I won't lie. And I've got quite a lot of stuff on there that's just been sapped for a little while. Um, my Etsy is jewellery. I'm going to put like all handmade jewellery that I make myself. So it's not resale. Um, it's all stuff that it's like crafty stuff. I make it myself. Um, so I'm going to put a sale on my Etsy shop. I'm going to put a sale on my eBay shop. I'm going to cross list. I'm probably going to spend like a good hour purely cross-listing this morning. So anything that's listed on eBay, I'm going to try and get cross-listed to Depop and Vinted and get some Poshmark listings up. And then I'm going to spend the afternoon getting fresh eBay listings up. Um, my kids are at Lego Club tonight, so I've got an extra hour. I have to pick them up till like quarter past four. So that extra hour just feels like I've got so much more time in the day. So, <laughs> so yeah, I'm just staring at outside because it's windy. You're so cute. She's just so cute. Should we just sit here and stare at her for a bit? We're just gonna sit and stare at you. Yeah, you're so pretty. You're so pretty. <laughs> anyway. I am uh, not going to sit and stare at the dog. I'm going to go and get some work done. And I'll catch up with you in a little while. Update. Uh, I've done no work. Because I've been tidying up my desk. This was absolutely covered. And I have not been able to use it since like Christmas. Just being fully honest. So yeah. It still doesn't look great. But I'm sick of working at the sofa. Like on the sofa. So I've tidied my desk and it's now like half ten, I think, maybe even eleven o'clock. I just got the urge to tidy it. So now now I'm going to get some work done and I'll keep you posted once I've actually got something done. So it is lunchtime, 12 o'clock. Excuse the lighting. I have a lamp on and it's raining outside and it's really awful lighting. And I'm sat in front of the laptop. Um, and this angle is really delightful, but it is what it is. I have been cross-listing onto Vinted and Depop. That's pretty much as far as I've got so far today. I'm just about to do a sale, like put a sale on my shop. I think I'm going to go for like, I don't know, 20, maybe 15 or 20% off, I think. I can't decide. I will have a look at prices and, and see. Um, I don't really know what to mark down. I don't know if to just do some random stuff that I've had for a while or whether to like purposely mark down winter stuff. But by the time this video goes out, I will have made my mind up. Um, I have got a video somewhere which kind of, I think, mm, now I mention it, I'm not sure. I think I've got a video on my channel somewhere that show it like explains how to put a sale on your shop. If I have, it'll be in the little eye thing in the corner of the screen. Um, but yeah, that's my plan for now. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to get on to Etsy and do exactly the same. Um, again, anywhere between 10 and 20% sale. Just to try and boost my sales a little bit on Etsy because they have been non-existent because I've ignored it for, well, way over a month. I listed a few new earrings on there the other day. Um, but yeah, since then I've not really done very much. So I will probably, well, I'm going to put the sale on and then I might get some stuff listed on there. But yeah, I've done some cross-listing. And that, that's pretty much it so far. Like I said, I clean my desk. It's not properly clean, but it's nice to be able to work and get a desk. I needed a little bit of a separate spot to work rather than it just being staring at the TV because I get too distracted. Even though I barely did any work still today. But yeah, I'll update you once I've done something else, but... Just slowly plodding through Monday so far. Oh, I do have my he my first HelloFresh delivery on the way, which is quite exciting. Um, I have been very, very much afraid of cooking since I lost a lot of my vision. 
So I haven't been in the kitchen. I haven't been cooking. My poor husband's doing it all. And now that he's working full time again, I just don't think it's fair to make him do all the cooking. So I need a little bit of confidence and I didn't, and, I, and inspiration as well, to be fair, not just confidence, I need inspiration. So my mum started doing HelloFresh and she's really enjoying it. So I got a code or something off her and got, I think I got my first box free where I just had to pay shipping. And I think I chose free meals for the first week. And then I think I've got £10 off for the next, like, four weeks. Oh, there's my finger just blocking up off the screen. Um, but, yeah, I will let you know how I get on with that. And if it is, if I think it's worth sharing, then I will. Not sponsored, by the way, at all. Doing it off my own back because, like I said, I have no confidence in the kitchen at the minute. So, yeah, if it is worth sharing, then I will let you know how I get on. I can't even remember what I ordered, to be fair. So that'll be a nice surprise when it arrives. But yeah, hopefully it arrives before dinner time tonight. It should do. I think it's between two and four it's meant to arrive. But yeah, I'll keep you posted. I've just put a sale on my eBay shop. I went for 20%. I just thought I'd quickly show you. I redid all my like branding and logo in. I try not to wobble so much. The other day. And I did put it on Instagram, but I've not shown like on youtube so yeah i did a new a new logo like the state of my computer i am really sorry my husband trod on it um it's a laptop not a computer so yeah i wanted something that was quite simple but would also stand out a little uh, hanger in there but would also be really easy to read as well hence the contrast so yeah just want to share that with you but my sale is now up oh i did all these as well um just so it's more like a uniform but whereas before there were just old photos of old stock that i had up there but so my shop front now looks nice and tidy i've just updated all these and then uh, there we go 20 percent off sale is on so yeah hopefully look at the state of my computer oh my gosh Hopefully that will generate a few more sales, but we will see. But yeah, if you want to go in there, grab yourself a bargain. Links in the description. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I will update you in my next vlog as to whether that has had any impact on sales at all. Because at the minute, it's tumbleweeds. Okay, and that is a sale on Etsy Live as well. 15% off on Etsy. And everything is free postage. So that's why I can't go any lower than 15% off on Etsy. I am thinking about changing the postage and like adding on postage. Um, it will still only be like a pound to a pound, one pound fifty per item. Like not per item, but per parcel. Um, but yeah, it, it just, when I'm selling them like quite cheap, it really does eat into into uh, profits quite a lot. A pound when it's only like a seven pound item, and then taking a pound out of that for post, and then taking out like Etsy fees as well, like barely any profit. But that's not what my Etsy is for anyway. I'm not here for the profit on Etsy really. I'm here to obviously not make a loss, but just sell all the jewellery that I really enjoy making in my spare time. So yeah, link for Etsy is also in the description. If you fancy treating you or a loved one to a handmade piece of jewellery, there is 15% off pretty much, no, the entire shop, yeah. I think I did it for the entire shop. But yeah, so uh, fingers crossed for some sales on there too. Whilst I'm listing stuff, I thought I'd quickly just show you some items that I picked up last week. We didn't do a proper source because well it was really snowy and stuff and we just didn't get around to going out my husband had a lot of work on so we didn't get around to going out but we did go to a couple of shops and i have been going to a few places on my own during the week because obviously when he does go full time we're not going to be able to go out sourcing during the week it's just going to have to be me so yeah i did a few places on my own 
please excuse the state of this hair i've just looked in the camera and noticed how i had a shower this morning as well um but then the wind and the rain which you might even be able to hear the wind in the background like the wind and the rain is absolutely mad and when i took the kids to school this morning it just this happened so yeah i've only got a few pieces i already showed you most of it this little section at the front like ignore the state of that rail there's stuff on there that i just keep ignoring but you know um there's only a little section but i thought i'd show you this was actually something that i probably shouldn't have picked up but i just thought it was really cool like you can't really tell in this light i've not got a ring light on i'm just using natural lighting um but it's like almost oil slick i just thought that's really cool it'd look really really nice with like a long sleeve white top underneath it or even a shirt like a button up white shirt underneath that would look pretty cool it's only by Shein which I'd never I've never picked up Shein before to be honest with you um but I just oh you nearly saw it then there you go you can almost see the finish on it I just thought it was really cool and I paid four pound for it it probably was only that much brand new but I don't know maybe I can stick it on vintage for a tenner I shouldn't have picked it up I just fell in love with it and I did try it on um it does it fits but only only just fits um so yeah I don't know I don't have a white button-up shirt but maybe it'd look quite nice over one of them I don't know I'm not very fashionable so I don't really know I sit here in a grandma jumper uh, this is uh nearly dropped on the floor this is really sick I love this. Like this, I actually want to keep. Um, I'm not going to because I won't wear it with anything. Like it doesn't go with anything that I have. Um, she says that she's wearing like a little embroidered grandma jumper. But it's so cute. It's real suede. It's vintage. And these are all embroidered. Embroidered? Embroidered? Embroidered. Embroidered. I don't know. But it's cute as anything. I'm absolutely in love with it. And this was £4.95. I love it. Absolutely love it. I'm not sure how much I'll get for it. I'm hoping, I'm going to stick, I think it'll go on Depop maybe. But I'm going to price it high because it is real suede. I'm going to go for like 50 quid, Which might be pushing way too far. But I don't really know vintage to be honest with you. So uh, This is Joanna Hope. Which does okay for us in bigger sizes. And this is just like pretty cool it's like almost zebra print but i thought it was quite nice i liked it anyway um it's not an i don't think it's in a huge size i can't remember it might be actually i don't know it was five pound 45 and it just kind of screams cruise to me um i was in a size 20 so yeah it's in a decent size but it's really nice nice and stretchy then the next piece is just freaking adorable and I really want to keep it but it's too small. This is Urban Outfitters which again I never pick up but I think I should start picking it up because some of the pieces are just so cute. Like again for like Depop because I'm selling on Depop or hoping to a bit more and for Poshmark I need to start finding different things to just eBay because the market is going to be a little bit different. Anyway this is absolutely adorable. It's mesh. And you can see it's got like sun shines on it. It's really like celestial. I absolutely love it. And it was on the pound rail. It's a size small. Um, with a little bralette underneath it. That is going to be so cute in the summer. I love that. But there ain't no way I'm fitting into a size small. These are Levi's jeans. These are quite good. These are men's boot cut. These are the 512s. I'll show you the label. Um, they had some Levi's jeans in this shop for £13 and then these ones for some reason £3.95 I don't know why but they just were um but these go quite well this 512 boot cut I think my husband looked it up so I can't say 100% but he looked at women in the shop and he's had like at least 30 so they were pretty good these ones I am not too sure on so if you are familiar with this brand please let me know these are 100 percent wool men's trousers in this like army green color and they are by the brand oh, let me just take what oh, the suspense just take off that hanger 
They are by the brand. Where have you gone? This is a bit too much suspense. Fife Country. Fife Country. F Fife? Why is that so difficult to say? So it's not... <laughs> Obviously, I know Hogs of Fife is good. I don't know whether Fife Country is any good. We couldn't really find much on it. <sighs> but we paid £4.45 because they are pure wool. And I thought, well, I reckon my money's safe. They're 32 leg. I've lost my hanger now. They're 32 leg. No, 32 waist. Oh, God. Get it together. Um, but, yeah. Fife Country. If you know anything about it, uh, please feel free to let me know in the comments. Uh, this is Win Layers by Marla Wynn. As you can see, it's still got its boot end. This was from Heart Foundation. You pro I didn't need to tell you that. The tag's right there. Um, and it was £5.50, which, you know, Heart Foundation, especially the one near me, it's quite pricey. So I was quite happy to find this. I did, like, spend ages in there looking at stuff and didn't find very much at all. But it was worth it. I was enjoying myself. Um, so, yeah, this is Win Layers. I don't know whether there's, like, a difference between Marla Win and Win Layers in price and I've only sold Marlowin once, I believe, possibly twice. I don't really know. I'm talking so fast that I'm like out of breath. I don't know why. Um, I have had two coffees this morning, so maybe that's why. This is Ralph Lauren. And it's really nice. Like, look at that buckle. Like, oh, a free cat hair on there. But look how nice that is. It is gorgeous. And I think it's... Um, I don't know whether it's wool or wool blend. It's Lauren, Ralph Lauren, um, and it was £4.95, and it's a stunner. I don't, like I said, I don't know whether it's wool, wool blend, cotton, I has not got a clue, and I can't find the label right now. I'm determined to find the label. <laughs> Panic! I can't find the label. My husband did check when he picked it up in the shop, but I don't know. And then we have a pair of Hobbs trousers, which I did think were wool, and then I bought them home, and they're just polyester. Um, but these were in Heart Foundation, and they were £3.50, which is why I picked them up, because they were £3.50 in a Heart Foundation. But, yeah, I probably should have left these behind. They're only in a size 10, but, well, I don't know, £3.50 into 15 on Vinted, maybe? Maybe? And then, finally... My favourite find, which was also a heart foundation. Uh, just one second while I get it. Oh. Is this. This is a jumpsuit. There you go. It's like proper stretchy in this awesome print. It cost me £10.50. Which, you know, is a little bit... Quite expensive. Um, but it is ingenue. Oh, oh. can you see that is that showing up it's by the brand ingenue and it's a jumpsuit which jumpsuits are always very popular and it's wide leg as well oh oh it's really wide leg look at that core i love a wide leg jumpsuit what size are you actually doesn't have the size written on it which is concerning so i'm gonna have to go dig in for the size which you bet i'm gonna do right now probably not going to find it right now um but yeah £10.50 I don't actually know how much I'm going to get for it I won't lie but I reckon you know my money's safe isn't it my, my money's safe so yeah I'm going to get them listed now well drafted now um and hopefully photographed this afternoon if not that'll be tomorrow job I might actually do all my photographing tomorrow I might spend the afternoon this afternoon drafting and then photograph in bulk tomorrow but yeah uh, I don't know what else I've got to share with you today I might leave the video there to be honest with you I don't think there's anything else that I need to share um I will my HelloFresh isn't here and it's not gonna be here till later on so I will share that with you in an upcoming video I'll make sure I will take pictures of it 
and let you know how I get on with that because I know that some of you might be interested in it. Um, but yeah, other than that, I am having a very boring afternoon sat in front of the computer, so there's not really anything else to report. So I will see you in my next video. As always, if you did enjoy it, don't forget to hit thumbs up, help a girl out and subscribe if you are not already because I was trying to get to 2,500 subscribers by the end of March. Um, it's not happening. It's not happening. But maybe by the end of April, maybe by the end of April, um, <laughs> i got to set realistic goals. I've only got like, what, two weeks left until the end of March and we're not getting another 80 subscribers by the end of March. But, you know, a girl can dream. A girl can dream. Anyway, have a great day and I will see you in the next one. Bye everybody.